they are the best outboard out there. It's like a sports car. It'll set you back in your seat. I put the hammer down, I'm gone. Faster, quieter, lighter. They're the most reliable engine I've ever seen. The day one has been flawless. Bar none. The best in the industry. It's just incredible. By Discovery Tech. I want to talk to you about the best built, most exciting outboard engines ever made. They're called E-Tex. They're from Evinrude. And they deliver everything you've ever wanted in an outboard. These machines are built for awesome power. They give you bulletproof reliability, the cleanest emissions, and the lowest maintenance in the industry, bar none. In the next few minutes, you'll see how Evinrude E-Tex, the most technologically advanced outboards in the world, match up against the best engines the competition has to offer. You'll see what kinds of compromises owners of four-stroke engines have to put up with, and why owning an E-Tech will make boating more enjoyable than ever before. It's cleaner, lighter, faster, more fuel efficient. There isn't a four-stroke on the market that does what the E-Tech does. For years, some outboard manufacturers have told us we should buy four-stroke engines because four-strokes reduce emissions. Well, they do that, but at a cost. Four-stroke engines sacrifice power. They're heavy and their complicated design needs servicing time after time after time. Evinrude knew that boaters didn't want to compromise. They wanted the power and low maintenance that two strokes had always delivered. So Evinrude reinvented the outboard. They made it the cleanest engine on the water and they kept all the two stroke muscle that boaters love. There must be a dozen reasons to buy an E-Tech over a four stroke. They make more horsepower, they make more torque. They're cleaner, they're quieter, they're tougher. They don't need any dealer servicing for a period of three years. I challenge anyone to give me one good reason to buy a four-stroke over an E-Tech. Putting an E-Tech on your boat means never sacrificing what you really want in an outboard, never compromising on important things like torque. We're heading to Stewart, Florida to see how an Evinrude E-Tech matches up against a leading four-stroke in one amazing test of torque. Get ready for a flat-out, full-throttle tug-of-war. The tug-of-war test is a great test for torque because it shows how much power the motor is able to make at any given RPM. Each of these Sea Chaser Bay Runners is identical in weight and configuration, and each is outfitted with a 150 horsepower engine. One is the leading mid-size four-stroke from Yamaha, the other an Evinrude E-Tech. An independent observer ensures that each engine is propped and rigged to manufacturer's specifications. Everything possible is done to ensure a fair test. These are professional boat drivers relying on spotters and maximum safeguards. Do not try this yourself under any circumstances. Now the drivers line up and wait for the start. Three, two, one, hit it! Here are two engines with the same horsepower, but look at the difference E-Tech's tremendous torque makes. It literally pulls the Yamaha underwater and capsizes the Bay Runner. Of course, Yamaha's extra 70 pounds of weight doesn't help it either. More weight, less torque. Not a good combination. Where does the Evinrude E-Tech get so much torque? Let's compare it to a four-stroke. A four-stroke engine makes power only half the time on every other revolution, and its belts, valves, and cams create power-draining friction. The E-Tech, on the other hand, creates power on every cycle, continuously, with far less friction to overcome. When the dust settles at the end of the day, um, the four-stroke motor just doesn't have an advantage over the E-Tech motor uh, in any way, shape, or form that I can see, and uh, I think the numbers bear that out. E-Tech's computer-controlled fuel injector is the most advanced combustion technology ever designed for an outboard. Making up to 8 million calculations per second, the computer meters the precise amount of fuel for every speed and load condition. The result? More torque throughout the RPM range than any engine in their class. Running rivers here in Alaska, you, you've got to have something that's going to have that snap, that jump, that's going to get you out of the water and get you on plane in a hurry. The faster you get there, the faster you can you know, get your lines out and the faster you can uh, start fishing. And it doesn't matter what RPM you're at. If you're at 5,000 and you go to 5,500, you can feel it. It sets you back. It puts excitement back in the boat. Ever since Ole Evinrude invented the world's first outboard motor a century ago, Evinrude engineers have been pushing the boundaries of what marine engines can do. 
Now with E-Tech, they've reinvented the outboard. They've combined the two-stroke design with things like space-age alloys and smarter fuel injectors. They've eliminated the need to mix oil and gas and created the cleanest engines on the water. No smoke, no fumes. But unlike four-strokes, E-Tech sacrificed nothing. E-Tech outboards scream with power. They're more reliable and easier to maintain than any other engines you can buy. Myth. The EPA will soon ban two-stroke outboards. Fact. This idea is so wrong. We'll go to the pristine waters of Lake Tahoe to set the record straight. One of the clearest and cleanest lakes in North America, this magnificent lake is also one of the most regulated. We regulate almost everything that goes on in this, in this basin. In 1999, in a major effort to reduce emissions, the Tahoe Regional Planning Agency banned carbureted two-stroke outboards. We go out, we have a patrol boat, and we look for illegal engines. After the word got out that we had this ban, companies like Evan Root created better engines. With the direct fuel injected E-Tech, you get a much cleaner burning engine and, and very little pollution discharge. They meet all the EPA standards, they meet our standards, and we've had great success with it on our own boat. After the first year, we noticed a 98% decrease in the toxic chemicals. If you come out to Lake Tahoe, you can see why these rules are in effect, because it's one of the most beautiful places on Earth, and we want to keep it that way. The fact is that the entire line of Evan Root E-Techs rank cleaner than any other outboards for total emissions. Who says? The EPA does. In fact, E-Tech is the only marine engine ever to receive the EPA's Clean Air Excellence Award. E-Techs run cleaner because their revolutionary combustion technology is so efficient. Inside the E-Tech cylinder, a unique high-pressure swirl pattern atomizes every droplet. So the entire fuel charge is combusted and converted into power. More power, cleaner emissions, better fuel economy. No wonder people all over the world are repowering their boats with E-Techs. We do a lot of repowers here. 90% um, of our business is probably repowers. We get to get the customer something that's safe, something that's gonna run good, something that's gonna get them good fuel economy, and uh, E-Tech fits the bill. When I repower with the new E-Tech over my old carbureted two-stroke, I doubled my gas mileage. It really makes me happy that I can help the environment in that, in that regard. Use less fuel in a normal boating season. Use less oil as well. I like pulling into the dock without a cloud of smoke following me in. They've absolutely converted me. The E-Tech was where it was at for us. Want more proof that E-Tech is superior to four strokes? Go to evanroot.com and see how E-Tech stack up against other outboards in every category. Stay tuned to find out why E-Techs give you more time on the water than any other outboard. Then, witness the toughest water ski challenge ever attempted. Will E-Tech power write a new chapter in the Guinness Book of World Records? Now's your chance to own the most revolutionary outboards ever built. Machines designed for power and performance. Engineered to run cleaner and quieter. And built for maximum durability, quality, and reliability. E-Tech engines from Evan Rood need scheduled maintenance only once every three years, so you spend your time on the water. There's no break-in period, no mixing gas and oil, ever. Now's the time to discover the full E-Tech lineup at evanrood.com. From the sleek inline 40 horse, all the way to the awesome 250 horse V6, Evan Rood has an E-Tech built for you. This is your chance to own the high-performance outboard the boating public is raving about. Evinrude E-Tech, simply the best outboards ever built. They are the best outboard out there. Very dependable, very little maintenance. They get you on plane in a hurry. The E-Tech is extremely fuel efficient. It's been fantastic for my pocketbook. And it works. It's proven. Very, very durable. E-Tech is absolutely the best thing available. Up until a few years ago, four-stroke engines were a good option when it came to choosing an outboard. The trouble with four-strokes was you had to spend days off the water each year for service and pay thousands of dollars on routine maintenance. Evan Root knew there had to be a better way, so they created a whole new category of engine. Evan Root took the simplicity of the two-stroke design and combined it with sophisticated combustion technologies and highly advanced alloys. Result, engines that are more rugged and reliable than any ever built. 
Our pistons are made from an alloy developed by NASA specifically for the E-Tech motors that's two and a half times stronger than traditional alloys and it withstands very high heat loads. This piston has over 2,000 hours on it and it looks like the day it went in the motor. E-Tech cylinders are honed so precisely there's no reason to break the engine in. You can run it wide open throttle right out of the box. When you own a four-stroke, you own a very complicated machine. Not sophisticated, complicated. A four-stroke depends on camshafts, timing belts, exhaust valves, and dozens of other moving parts that need servicing and can break down. E-Tex, by contrast, are radically simple. And the few parts they have are made of the most durable materials in the outboard world. Ask yourself, how easy to own do you want your engine to be? A typical four-stroke requires a delicate and lengthy break-in period before you can run it the way you want. An E-Tech needs no break-in period at all. Run it right out of the box as hard as you like. All four-stroke engines require oil changes as often as every six months. An E-Tech, no oil changes ever. And no need to mix gas and oil. The biggest difference is how much more dealer servicing a four-stroke needs. In a three-year period, a Mercury Verado requires three service trips to the dealer. A Yamaha Outboard requires seven trips. At seven weekends, your boat's off the water. An E-Tech, on the other hand, sees the dealer just once in three years. And then not again for three years after that. And three years after that. I like the concept of uh, not changing the oil. 300 hours, no scheduled maintenance. That, man, you that's know music to our yeah, ears. We that, don't that touch means it. A Let's ton go. To us. Forever Resorts operates over 230 luxury houseboats in vacation destinations around the country. They chose E-Tech engines for their fleet because of the cleaner emissions, the fuel efficiency, and the ease of maintenance. Bruce Rowe is director of Marine Services. E-Tech engine has made my job easier because you don't have to do any oil changes, any valve adjustments, nothing else, because there's nothing to do. All you do is top off the oil tank. With such a large fleet and a famed reputation for customer service, Forever Resorts depends on E-Tex for maximum uptime, low carbon monoxide emissions, and minimum maintenance costs. In a three-year period, a Mercury Verado 150 will typically cost its owner over $1,600 to service. A Yamaha 150 will set you back over $3,200 for service. But an E-Tex 150 will typically cost you just over $600. And these costs don't even include winterizing your engine. A four-stroke is so complex, it's best to have the dealer do that. With an E-Tech, you can auto-store the engine yourself in just a few minutes. Cost, zip. Go to evanroot.com and see how E-Tech compares in maintenance cost to any major four-stroke in the same class. Evanroot today is part of a company called BRP. You've heard of ski doo snowmobiles, sea doo watercraft, Can-Am ATVs, and Rotax engines. What they and Evanroot have in common is a total commitment to motorized fun. In all their power sport lines, BRP pledges to never compromise on performance. One way that E-Techs get their high performance is by packing more muscle into a lighter package. To prove it, we'll match E-Tech head-to-head -head against leading four strokes to see why lighter is better. The 90-horse E-Tech on the left weighs 317 pounds. The 90-horse Yamaha four-stroke weighs in at 387, a full 70 pounds heavier. The difference is even more striking with the 90-horse Mercury four-stroke. It tips the scales at a whopping 411 pounds, over 90 pounds heavier than the E-Tech. We'll mount each of these outboards on identical 17-foot center console boats and compare performance. An independent observer ensures that the boats and engines are configured to manufacturer specs. The E-Tech powered boat jumps quickly and smoothly onto plane. But look at the effect of Yamaha's extra weight. Its boat is sluggish, and as speed increases, it begins to porpoise. The effect of Mercury's extra weight is even more dramatic. Its 17-footer stays mired in the hole and struggles to get on plane. Even at optimal trim, it porpoises wildly. Compare the view from the E-Tech powered boat with the same view from the Yamaha boat. And now with the Mercury. These boats, designed for the lighter weight of carbureted two-strokes, just don't perform when repowered with heavy four-stroke engines. In any class, E-Tech's lighter weight means better handling, faster hole shots, and more speed. The four-stroke just didn't do it for me. They don't perform. 
There's too much weight there. A four stroke um, on this boat would have been too heavy. I didn't even consider it. You've got too much uh, transom weight on there. The sc scuppers are underwater and you'll take on water in the stern of that boat. With their lighter weight and advanced combustion technology, ETECs burn far less fuel than most other engines. How much less? At wide open throttle, the fuel economy of an Evinrude ETEC 225 is 4.8% better than the 225 Yamaha four stroke and 19.3% better than a Mercury four stroke. At idle, the difference is even more dramatic. The ETEC's fuel economy is 54.6% better than the Yamaha and a stunning 55.1% better than the Mercury. ETEC owners all over America are thrilled with what they're saving in fuel costs. The fuel economy of the ETECs and the price of fuel just make them very economical. When I put the ETEC on, I doubled my uh, gas mileage. Fuel economy on this boat powered with ETECs is approximately 35 to 40 percent better than the previous power I had. I might be able to run a little bit further than the next guy because they don't get the gas economy that I get. ETEX fuel economy is far none the best. If you're considering buying an outboard, you owe it to yourself to learn about all the options you have. Check out evanroot.com and see for yourself how ETEX stack up against all leading outboards in power, weight, maintenance, fuel economy, and every category that matters to you. Stay tuned to find out what makes ETEX the most durable and reliable outboards ever built. Then stick around to see the most amazing water ski challenge ever attempted. At stake, a Guinness World Record. Now's your chance to own the most revolutionary outboards ever built. Machines designed for power and performance. Engineered to run cleaner and quieter. And built for maximum durability, quality, and reliability. E-Tech engines from Evinrude need scheduled maintenance only once every three years, so you spend your time on the water. There's no break-in period, no mixing gas and oil, ever. Now's the time to discover the full E-Tech lineup at Evinrude.com. From the sleek inline 40 horse, all the way to the awesome 250 horse V6, Evinrude has an E-Tech built for you. This is your chance to own the high-performance outboard the boating public is raving about. Evinrude E-Tech, simply the best outboards ever built. They are the best outboard out there. The E-Tech has the lowest carbon monoxide outboard of any engine on the market. And very quiet. Faster, quieter, lighter, really reliable. You want to be able to get home. E-Tech fits the bill. Bar none. The best in the industry. I discovered E-Tech. Up until the early 90s, almost all outboards on the water were two strokes. Those engines were fast and dependable, but they weren't clean enough. That's why many manufacturers turned to four-stroke design. Four strokes have less torque, their complicated design weighs more, and they're expensive to maintain. Evinrude said, it's time for some new ideas. Evinrude created a whole new category of engines called ETEX. Engines that run even cleaner than four strokes, but with all the power and reliability that boaters demand. The Massachusetts Environmental Police patrols a large expanse of the New England coastline. To get better performance and reliability, the agency switched to ETEC outboards. The E-Tech today, in my opinion, is the best outboard out there right now. It's just incredible. We looked at all the different ones between Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki, and uh, we like the E-Tech. The E-Tech uh, was what we're looking for. Less weight, good fuel economy, less maintenance. We could put a thousand hours on an easy a year, but well, we do a little more than that. And I'll tell you, the guys aren't gentle, but they, uh, the motors are holding up, and that's what counts. E-Techs are designed around a single integrated vision. Evinrude calls it DQR, durability, quality, reliability. DQR means designing an engine that will withstand the worst the marine environment can throw at you. One, we build the E-Tex to be durable. We start with a simple low friction design made of the toughest components in the business. And then we leave out the parts that can give you trouble. We don't have exhaust valves, camshafts, belts, pulleys. If those parts aren't there, they just can't break down. Two, building in quality. BRP is renowned for its attention to detail for building parts right every time. Three, these engines are reliable. E-Techs start on the first revolution. You can count on it. Reliability also means getting all the electric power you need. The amount of amps required by today's GPS chart plotters, radars, and fish finders can easily exceed the alternator output of most engines. Not the E-Tech. 
ETEX V4s and V6s produce a full 50 net amps for all the electronics you want. That's up to twice the available amps you get with other engines. There are no belts to break down, and if for some reason the battery should die, you can continue to run the engine right off the alternator itself. Day in and day out, they're the most reliable engine I've ever seen. When you're 50 miles away and you got an hour to get back, you know your motor's going to crank. Exactly. Here in Alaska, I would never recommend anything but an E-Tech engine. Today, E-Techs are the engines of choice for those who depend on DQR for their livelihood. My name is Tom Kriska. My job is delivering goods to remote Alaskan villages. Tom's logged over 20,000 miles on the Yukon with a 90-horse E-Tech, and now he's about to repower a new boat. The four-stroke outboard it came with can't deliver either the torque or the low maintenance that Tom needs, so he's changing it out for a 225 E-Tech. This will make my 400 mile trips much faster and I will burn less fuel. I can't believe how far I can travel on a small fuel tank. And he'll get the performance he wants at lower RPMs, meaning less wear on the engine. Tom's a one-man transport service. The villagers depend on him, and he depends on his E-Tech engines to run under brutal conditions. I had owned many different motors, four-stroke and two-stroke, and I would choose the E-Tech any day. One of the options E-Tech owners can add to their boats is Evinrude's unique eye command an advanced system of gauges that brings you more useful information than you ever had before. This automatically calculates fuel range based on GPS, as well as how much fuel I have left in the tank and by input by the engine. If I've got a spot 20 miles up the lake that I think there's fish on, and then my eye command gauges tell me I can get there, I'm going. Unlike four-stroke outboards, E-Techs make no compromises when it comes to performance. And that's especially true with torque. We've come to Wisconsin Rapids to see Evinrude and four amateur ski teams attempt an amazing challenge. Set up some ropes, do a couple dry land practices. The goal, to pull the largest human pyramid in water skiing history and set a new world record. Everything rides on the skills of 48 skiers, a professional driver, and the torque of these three Evinrude 225 E-Tech outboards. The work is the pull, to so pull that weight from a dead stop, you get it up on the water. You got resistance on the water, it's going to hold you back, and the boat's going to have to power through it to pull you forward. Are the E-Techs up to pulling a combined weight of three tons and over a mile of ski rope? It's a lot of weight back there. And then, can they accelerate to speed? We're about to see. And here they go. Powerful torque snaps the tow line. The variables are extreme, and with four dozen skiers, the timing's almost impossible to coordinate. Now, after several attempts, the teams fine-tune their start. I think we're gonna do it. They're off quickly. and the third tier climbs into place. Here's where E-Tech's engineering really pays off with the unbelievable power and torque needed to overcome massive resistance. And now all four tiers are up and the formation's complete. The 48 skiers hold for a full 20 seconds, 10 seconds longer than required by the Guinness Book of World Records. And a new world record it is. Done. And they had the right attitude, and we had the right drivers, and we had Evan Rude. Oh, yeah. We did it! <laughs> if you're looking for an outboard, you owe it to yourself to look at ETEX. Visit evanroot.com and see how E-Techs match up against all leading engines in any class you want. See for yourself that while others sacrifice performance, you'll never have to. Evinrude E-Techs accelerate faster, they run cleaner, they're easier to maintain, more reliable, and they blow every other outboard in the world right out of the water with awesome power. Get the best outboards ever built. Evinrude E-Tech, spend your time on the water. Now's your chance to own the most revolutionary outboards ever built. Machines designed for power and performance. 
Engineered to run cleaner and quieter and built for maximum durability, quality and reliability. E-Tech engines from Evan Rood need scheduled maintenance only once every three years, so you spend your time on the water. There's no break-in period, no mixing gas and oil, ever. Now's the time to discover the full E-Tech lineup at evanrood.com. From the sleek inline 40 horse all the way to the awesome 250 horse V6, Evan Rood has an E-Tech built for you. This is your chance to own the high performance outboard the boating public is raving about. Evanrude E-Tech, simply the best outboards ever built.